Hi everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ginger the Plane. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to update the software in our Dynon Skyview HDX system. To begin the update, you'll want to remove the Dynon thumb drive from your panel. Insert the Dynon thumb drive into the USB port on the side of your computer. Then you'll want to navigate to the Dynon certified website. On this website, you'll find tons of great information. It's very informative. We're today looking to go right to the support tab. On that support page, you're going to navigate to the software updates and click the approved Skyview HDX software tab. On this page here, you can read all about Dynon Skyview HDX system software. For our purposes today, we're going to specifically go to the single engine aircraft tab and we're going to click download software. I like to minimize the screen at this point and uh, you'll notice that I have a couple of other windows open. In the upper left, I have my Dynon thumb drive. In the lower left, I have a folder of uh, Dynon updates that I keep on my computer. In the uh, Dynon thumb drive, you'll notice uh, all of the software that I currently have in there, including the most recent package that was downloaded on December 2nd. Let's compare that to the current package that's available on the website. This package was last updated on the 30th of December, so clearly Ginger needs an update. What's in that package? Well, there's uh, some software updates. There's the U.S. Aviation Database, so, which was released on the 30th. Uh, some additional information, but this looks like it's unchanged from previous updates. So we'll go ahead and download that. Uh, first things first, though, um, there is uh, a separate download for each display size. Um, Ginger has a 10-inch display, so we'll go ahead and select that. Once the software is fully downloaded, it's available to place onto your thumb drive. Uh, before I do that though, I do want to mention you want to take this information directly from the download to your thumb drive. Don't put it on your desktop, don't put it in another folder, and then move it to your thumb drive from there. The best practice is to take it from the download directly to the thumb drive. You will get a small pop-up window and it'll say, do you want a copy of this file without its properties? It never had a problem doing this, and uh, I think this is just more of a, a caution and not an error. So we'll go ahead and hit yes. It'll put that software into the thumb drive. And now that package is uh, in our thumb drive and ready for use. Um, one thing uh, I do also like to do is I like to keep that copy. So I'm going to take the software and I'm going to put it into this folder as well. Um, and then I also like to delete the former package uh, from the thumb drive. Maybe it's OCD, <laughs> you tell me, but uh, I like to make sure that uh, I only have the most recent software package in there. So I'm going to right click and delete that. And now our thumb drive is ready. Uh, we'll uh, get that uh, out of the computer and we'll bring that back to the panel. All right, well, we're back at the hangar and uh, first thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna get that Dynon thumb drive back in the panel. Second thing I like to do is turn on the battery switch. I like to have a battery tender on at the same time. Make sure I've got my HDX and my autopilot switches on, and then I can turn everything on. And it goes through the normal boot up sequence, brings up the uh, Skyview HDX screen. Of course, the next screen will be all of the software loading. Once everything's booted up and loaded, then it'll be time for us to do the software update. Make sure you check that HDX switch and make sure your autopilot switch is in the on position. First thing you're going to want to do is 
press the two buttons to the far right until it says enter setup. You're going to click the button, enter setup, click load files, and then select the software that you're going to want to load. Make sure you read it and select it. And now it's extracting the files and doing the software update. It's pretty simple, really. It's as easy as one, two, three, if you think about it. Put the software on the thumb drive, put it in the panel, turn everything on, access the setup, and then load the files. And then the equipment does everything from there pretty much on its own. Once the files are uploaded, everything's done, the system will reboot, and then it'll be ready for use. One of the things I like to do right here is uh, just double check, make sure that I've got everything connected properly. You do not want to disconnect at this point. You also don't want a power cut. And that's it. It's completed successfully. Your software is updated. And uh, all we gotta do now is exit and go fly. Well, I hope that uh, shows you just how easy a software update is in the Dynon. Thanks for uh, coming to the channel today. I hope this was interesting and informative. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing, leave a like, and a comment. Thanks.